What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerdcast. It's time for another episode of Second Second. I enjoyed my first play through this game. I did. I liked it. I felt like the game was fully enjoyable. Like there's some aspects of the game I still don't like completely and totally understand. But by and large, I'm enjoying my time with the game. And as of right now, I think what I really want to do is get to the laboratory and upgrade that ambush to legendary. That's what I really want to do. That's what I want super bad. I think it moved me around on the map right now, though. Like, I think it put me back at the beginning or something. I don't know. God, that shield is such garbage. Luckily, I'm not using it to, like, protect my neck. I'm only using it to deal damage. Like, it's like a DPS shield. So, like, I'm okay with that. Oh, this, ben this man better cease and desist. This man better stop. He's about to find out what's going to happen to him. I like this character. This character feels a lot better than Ayn. Like, Ayn is okay, it's just that, like, Ayn, you gotta build him to be good. He's not necessarily good by default by himself. This guy works great, like, straight out of the package. This dude is... He comes out hot. I wanna go to the lab, and I need to land on the lab on, like, a nighttime, I think. I mean, the other option is that I can go to the lab during the daytime and unlock one of these card slots right here. This dude has 38 HP? Good, sweet, lord, baby Jeebus. That's a lot of HPs. Like, I deal a decent amount of damage, but I don't deal that much damage. Like, I deal some damage. I, I deal a conservative amount of damage per turn, like 21 per turn. But that dude's got some HP on him. I didn't even realize. Yeah, you keep getting shot and stop healing yourself, you bastard. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be, you goopy bitch. It's time for you to die. All right, so let's see here. I wanted to go to the lab. I think we may have to do a boss fight before we get to the lab, which kind of sucks a little bit, but we'll make it work for us. Yeah, just keep shooting, man. Just keep unloading on this cat. Let him have it. Like, the lower his HP is, the happier a camper I will be. Mm-hmm. Well, there's, you know, one damage right there, but I can live with it. We are kind of stacking on some hits right now. It's becoming a concern. Yeah, just kill this guy off. Just, like, get rid of him. I don't want him to exist anymore. I don't want him to exist anymore. So we could go down here. And so we could assign a card slot. Do I want to assign a card slot? Like, what do I have in reserve right now? Like, a bunch of random shield stuff. Heat bullet. I think we're better off upgrading the ambush. I'm gonna come back at night, I think. Let's go to an event. There is a sprout with a mysterious light. Shoot it with an exploding bullet! You cut the sprout and taste the sap. You had a mysterious taste on the tip of your tongue. I gained a free heal type card. What did I get? Vampirize? I think Vampirize makes it so that... Yeah, until, all, until the end of my turn... I'm pretty sure all of my damage becomes lifesteal. That might actually work out pretty well for us, but I don't know where I would fit it into our overall turn structure. With the rotation we have going right now, it'd probably be fine, but... I don't know. Let's modify a card, shall we? So, I want the legendary regenerator to go into my ambush. That doesn't feel like it did anything. It looks like it does the same damage. What happens if I put Acid Bullet up? Cast any, take one damage, and then Virus. Increase the damage shield level of next card. Card is used by cast, casting, activation. I don't feel like Ambush got that much better. Oh, it did, actually. The damage goes up by four. That's how it got better. Okay, I was trying to verify, like, what changed here. And so it gives plus one damage to anything that gets cast after it, after the fact. If I upgrade it, it gives plus four damage to everything after the fact. Yeah, I can do that. That sounds like a good plan. I like it. 
And doesn't it deal more damage if the enemy is attacking on my turn or something like that? I think it does. Me thinkies. So it's a good second turn follow-up card, I think. This guy right here, where did... Did he eat one of my cards? Oh, you bastard. You did it. No, he did. One of my cards got eaten. Oh, you slimy bastard. How could you? How could you? Um, run overheat gun, I guess. Oh, my entire strategy is hosed now. That's so upsetting. Oh, I don't like what just happened. I don't know what ate my card, but something ate my card. Oh, that's what Seal does. So Seal makes it so that... Okay. Can I play that twice? Yeah, just play that twice, dude. Just get as much shield up as you possibly can. Ow. That kind of hurt. I don't know that I have the damage to make this happen now that that card is gone. That card was like a considerable portion of all of the damage that I would deal. Like, it was a pretty good chunk. But, like, I think we can mash through this and I think we'll be okay. We killed another elite, so that's good. And we found a treasure chest, so our card pack points are up to eight. Let's go back this way, a guard and a prisoner. Spotting an enraged prisoner on the run and a guard chasing him both look exhausted and tired. I don't know, shoot him with overheat gun or something. Kill both of them. You caught both of them off guard and took useful things from them. The hunter's gun, an A3 card. And then our card pack level went up by plus three. Dude, I'm a savage. I killed a bunch of people. I killed them like I didn't care at all. Aw, oh, where did my abilities go? Maybe if I play them on an event, they get used up permanently. That's kind of a bad me I don't really like that mechanic much. I mean, I still got heat bullet right there, but... What does that do? Crossed? I don't understand what cross does. Hmm... I don't know how I feel about this. Like, I'm worried that if I play that, I'm never going to get any use on it in combat. I need slots of both types that match that card. Alright, I'll run focus since I don't have anything else that I can put in there. I I'm a little bit confused about why my cards keep disappearing on me, but like... When the opponent is casting on my turn. Okay, that makes sense. I guess just shoot him. I got nothing else I can do right now. I'm thinking this is going to be a bust. Stopped a little bit of damage, so that's good. I guess I'll hit him with a hyperheated bullet. I don't have much of an option other than that. He had all that shield? Damn, son. This guy's making my life very difficult. He's also dealing a lot of damage. How much healing does this guy have? Good lord. Yeah, we're gonna have to get some burn damage off. I don't have a choice. I'm just gonna have to whittle his HP down so that he can't heal. I mean, he hits a little hard, but he keeps perfectly timing his turn so that I can't get anything off. <laughs> he ran out of cards, too. We're both, like, officially out of cards. Oh, my God. We survived it. It's a miracle. We survived it. We're at pack level. I got to open it, man. I got to open it. I got no choice. I need more cards. 
We got overheat gun right there. We've got missile sight, and we've got grudge. Grudge is pretty good, but you got to play it five times before it goes off. So it deals zero damage until you get its meter completely and totally down. But Grudge is a pretty dope card. Like, Grudge will take care of business for you if you can get it slotted. Yeah, I need to put in some cards here. This is not feeling solid right now. I think I'm going to put that right there. So you need both types of slot that matches that. So like, oh, I don't have a heal slot. That's what it is. I don't have a heal slot. Makes sense. I was thinking that that was the heal slot, but that's a shield slot. Focus is nice, but I think I would rather have a shit ton of damage. That's what I think I'm going to focus on for right now. I'm going to try and keep us alive a little bit longer by having lots and lots of damage. So auto barricade. And then hopefully auto barricade will go off at an advantageous time so that I don't get dunked on hella hard. It went off at an okay time. I can take it. I don't have any shield left. So like we are going to have to handle this at one point or another, but maybe it'll be okay. I take it back. It's not going to be okay. Oh my god, this guy has so much shield. He has so much shield. I think this might be the turn, everybody. We might be going into that great beyond. Oh, we're definitely going into that great beyond. Goodbye, cruel world. Goodbye. We can play from the initial point, though, so that's not too bad. We get to keep our deck and everything if we do that. So I find that it's usually a good idea to like start over from scratch where you were with all of your upgrades and everything unlocked. It also gives you a chance to like upgrade your character, use the lab to get yourself all taken care of. Just my opinion, but I think it's a good idea. Uh, auto barricade. I probably shouldn't even be using heat bullet unless my shield's up, but like, do I really need the burn damage that badly? I really wish that gave you a lot more shield. Like, considering how long it takes for that to activate, I feel like 10 or 9 would be a lot more fair. Man, this guy's getting all kinds of bullets to bust on us with. This dude's got some next level stuff going on. Hey, we blocked it with the shield. Nice. We used our Jedi powers. Uh, card pack level six. I'm going to open it because I'm curious and I want to see what's in there. Slash, photon laser, and core. Core barrier. So at the end of the turn, at the whenever the opponent's turn is over, it ends. Shield on. When the shield is on, make plus four. So it gives me four more slots. So as long as the shield is on, I get four more slots for planning my turn out, I think. I don't know for certain, but that's what it sounds like. You met an old scientist. Deeply aware of his death, he regrets that he needs more time to complete his research. Um. Focus? He died slowly. All right, apparently I told him to focus harder and he died slowly. I gotta do one more battle. I'm gonna unlock another slot so that I've got like more utilitarian options for what I can pull off each turn. Especially since these dudes are getting a little bit nastier and they're starting to heal and use shields a lot more aggressively. Knock his health down ever so slightly. It'd be nice to have a third attack up in there somewhere. There you go, so he shielded himself. I'm gonna keep my shield going too. Let's go ahead and line up a few more shots. Oh, I thought I had one more time unit left. I thought I could run another burn attack. Lame. All right, we'll run that on him. We got to get him down like now. Perfect. Exactly what I was hoping for. We're only at card pack level one, so we'll let that do its thing for right now. It's still nighttime, and I need daytime. Security drone might be tough. He's got a lot of shield. I think he's what did us in last time. I think. 
Like, I kind of feel like he was the one what did us last time. Although I'm having trouble remembering because my memory is terrible. Got my shields knocked down. Oof. Get another shield up. I'm going to overheat the gun trying to knock him down. But yeah, his shields are becoming a problem for me. Just keep shooting, man. The more rounds you put on him, the happier Splat will be. Just keep picking at him. We've got, like, nothing else we even can do, so, you know. Line it up and make it happen. Perfect. Now, we're at level two right now. Keep it for later. Um, it's daytime, so let's give ourselves a new slot type over here. What cards do I have? I have a photon laser. I kind of want the photon laser, man. It's, like, really expensive, though. What does Missile Sight do? If 10 or more damage was dealt to the enemy with a single card... Deal 5 damage and does something. That card is complicated and it confuses me. I don't want it. Um... I guess finding a candidate for what could go into the next slot is probably the best idea first. Yeah. I am of the opinion... We swap out Core Barrier, and maybe we give ourselves a green slot so that we can start, like, vampirizing health from the enemy. I mean, it'd be nice to have, like, Missile Sight or, like, Photon Laser, but at the end of the day... Missile Sight is complicated. I gotta deal 10 damage with one card, and I don't have a card that deals 10 damage. So I think that one's out. So we can either go for something super simple like Slash, we can go for something that's like heavy duty like Photon Laser. Yeah. I'm going to go with Photon Laser, because I've never had a yellow card before. And I like the idea of firing, like, photons at my enemy for some reason. It makes me happy, okay? I had to do this. Oh, I could get another slot, too. Yeah, let's get another slot. Why not make it all better? Make everything good. I'm thinking a green slot is what I'm thinking. Because then with a green slot, I can put in Acid Bullet, which sounds super sexy. I can use that to get Acid Bullet to be cheaper and get that running in the first turn of every fight. And then every time I hit them, these things are going to deal more damage. And so it sounds like an okay plan to me. I mean, if it works like that in execution, I don't know if it will. Let's go test it out on a boss because obviously that's the best place to try out new strategies. Photon Laser! Dude, I pulled out a literal bazooka and blasted this cat. That is so sick. So we shot him with an acid bullet. What did that do? He's bleeding. So he takes damage like every single time I hit him now? Is it just like one extra damage? Or does it like stack up and get even better? I don't feel like I'm getting extra damage right now. Mm-hmm. You thought that was gonna work. Watch me break out the bazooka. Please believe I'm breaking out the zook. If you got a zook, you gotta use it, man. You gotta. So why do I not feel like he's getting any extra damage right now? Is it maybe because he's like a, a robo-sapien or something? Oh no, he is taking damage, so I guess it's anytime he does something he takes one damage. I don't know if I love that, but, like, okay, I can live with it. Like, I I'm not, like, in love with it, but, all right, that's cool, whatever. It's, in a, it's, a, it's a meet in the middle type of thing. I'll take it. I thought I was going to get one extra damage every time I cast it, but it's every time he casts. Okay. Photon laser. <laughs> I am going to use that ability every single time I get the opportunity. And, like, I hope that you understand that that's going to get casted every time I get a chance. Photon laser. Yeah, with the photon laser. 
With the California for the Californians with the photon lasers. I'm gonna heal my face because you're hurting me right now and it doesn't feel good. I kind of feel like this fight's getting out of hand right now. Maybe I'll put up a shield? I think he's just picking at me now. But he's using low energy attacks, which means that like every single time he's casting, he's getting lit into right now. Which is a very, very good thing for us. Perfect. Get that extra burn damage up in there. Uh, pack level 7. We'll keep it for later. Let's keep on chugging. I see no reason for us to, like, slow our ascent on the enemy right now. Yep. Photon laser, bro. We have the Zook. We have to use it. We have the Zook. Let them all wait in fear of their inferior Zooks compared to our Zooks. That's right. Melt yourself to death, dude. That's exactly why I have set this up to work the way that I have set this to work up. Because I want you to melt yourself to death. And I'm like decidedly okay with that. And I do think the extra damage is like actively helping. I mean we're probably still going to get wasted over here. Oh he didn't do an entire turn. Why? But why? Oh because he's going to deal 11 damage in just a minute. You little bastard. You little bastard. We might not survive this, everybody. There's a chance. Oh, he healed himself up all the way. We're dead. We're dead AF, bro. We're super dead AF. I timed it wrong. I timed it wrong. Those heals, man. Those heals. But it's looking okay to me. Like, I'm enjoying the game. Like, I like the game, and I can't wait to see what else they add to it. Like, I, I think it takes you a little while to get the ball rolling with the core mechanic of how you unlock slots and everything else like that and how you upgrade your cards. And you definitely have to have, like, deck synergy. Like, I feel like we lost a lot of deck synergy when I played those two cards on that event and it burned them. And so, anyways, I, I, I like the game a lot. This game is called Second Second. If you enjoyed it, don't forget, you can get the game down below. My name is Splattercat. I check out indie games on the internet every single day. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile so you don't have to. I will see you all when we meet again. I'll be doing this every single day for the rest of forever. There is no escape. Lament ye mortals. Hi, do and take care.